Timeline of my summer vacation. My, va my vacation began on Tuesday, June 12th. On Thursday, June 14, I woke up at 6 a.m. to chat on Facebook with students from Cholet. On June 16, I ran in a 5K race. The next day, I celebrated Father's Day. On Monday, June 18, my wife went to work in the afternoon, and I stayed home to take care of our two daughters, Sophie and Zoe. I gave them some paper and some scissors, and I went to check my email. Bad idea. Zoe decided to give her little sister a haircut. After, I had to trim all her hair with my hair clippers. Here are the before and after photos. Before. After. On Saturday, June 23rd, I helped the French Club with a bottle drive fundraiser. On June 24, I celebrated my daughter Zoe's birthday with my family. The next day, I headed south for two weeks of vacation. First, we went to Saturday Pond in Otisfield. We rented a cabin for three days. I swam in the small lake carrying my daughter Sophie on my back. Saturday Pond is located in southwestern Maine, about six hours from Fort Kent. It's in a region where there are many lakes. It's in part because of its many lakes that the state of Maine has the nickname vacation land, le pays des vacances. On Thursday, June 28, we went to our friend Devin's house in Cumberland. Cumberland is next to Portland, which is the largest of Maine cities with a population of around 66,000. While visiting with our friend Devin, we had a picnic at Kettle Cove in Cape Elizabeth. This is what the beach looks like from satellite. On Saturday, June 30th, we went to my sister Lucille's home in Buzzards Bay, which is next to Cape Cod in Massachusetts. We went to the public beach there a number of times. On Monday, July 2nd, we went to my sister Marie's house in Green, in southern Maine. We had fun in, in her pool. Green is just north of Lewiston, the second largest city in Maine. A large percentage of the population around Lewiston is of French-Canadian descent. On July 3rd, we went to the Maine Wildlife Park in Gray. We saw all kinds of animals and I was able to photograph many of them, like this young bull moose, these Canadian geese, and this tiny little turtle. On the 4th of July I went to visit my friend John at his grandparents' camp near Coldstream Pond. Coldstream Pond is in Enfield in central Maine. That night we stayed in a hotel in Bangor. Bangor is the third largest city in Maine with a population of around 33,000. The next day we went to Blue Hill to my wife's parents home and stayed there for three days. Blue Hill is on the coast of Maine not far from Mount Desert Island which is home to Acadia National Park. We returned home to Fort Kent on Sunday, July 8. In all, we traveled over 1,300 miles, or 2,080 kilometers, during our two-week vacation. From July 11 to July 13, I taught French to three to seven-year-olds. We sang and we danced. For the remainder of my vacation, 
I worked at least five days a week on my master's portfolio. I wrote six essays. I also prepared 12 bibliographies and five series of lesson plans. I spent a lot of time in the library at the University of Maine at Fort Kent. The university is right next door to the high school. High school. University. In addition to the work on my master's degree, I also helped my family build a new camp in Eagle Lake. We had a very nice summer this year. It was warm and the weather was beautiful and I was able to swim quite a few times in Eagle Lake. There are a large number of lakes near Fort Kent and many families have camps where they go to spend time in the summer. In all, my summer vacation was more a time of work than a time of rest. As such, I hope to make up for it next summer. What did you do during your summer vacation?